In this video, we're going to take a look at our lesser used fillet option called face fillet. Now the face fillet command can be utilized in a couple different scenarios. It can be utilized to add a face between two surfaces which have no connected edge, or it can be utilized in some really complex geometry as a last ditch resort. So here I have face fillets one and two from our working files directory. And inside of the face fillet one file, I have a imported piece of geometry. And what I'd like to do to this is modify it so that I have a face fillet between this face and this face here. Currently, I don't have a connected edge where they would share to create a traditional fillet. If I did try to create a traditional fillet and I picked this edge, it would only allow me to build that fillet as you see here. So I'm going to cancel that and restart the fillet command for a different type. Instead of a constant fillet, I'm going to choose a face fillet. That can be chosen here in the dialog box or in the pull down on the mini toolbar. Here I will specify this face as my first face set, and this is my second, and it will give me an automatic value that does work for a face blending between them. Currently that's 10.5. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 12, just to show you can make it larger, and I'll go ahead and approve that. Notice what it did was it created that fillet between those two faces, and it also backfilled the geometry behind it and got rid of the extra faces it didn't need based on this new blending of a set of faces together. Now another scenario where we might use face fillet is on a very complex geometric case. And this won't work every time, I won't promise it will, but it's something you could try if you're running into problems with a traditional fillet. In face fillets two, I'm going to zoom into this corner and start my fillet command. Right now it's currently set at 0.125 inches. If I go ahead and select this and say okay, that blends quite well. But what if that fillet had to go up in size? So let me undo that, run fillet again. This time I'll choose 0.188. Now, as you can see, what's happening is the fillet is only partially building itself and it's not going into this top face up here because there's actually another tangent line that disconnects that face on the top. The fillet command doesn't want to discard that face. So it's basically ignoring above that little line we have right here. So a way around this is actually to use a face fillet. I'll set that to 0.188, choose this as my first face set. And then for my second face set, I'm going to choose this face here, go back and pick it again and choose this face here. And now you can see it's actually blending up there into that for me. Now, this isn't perfect. I do have a little bit of a discrepancy here, as you can see, but it did give me the geometry that I was looking for. So you might try this in different scenarios. If it works for you, great. If not, I'm sorry, it doesn't work all the time, but it's something that you can definitely give a try.